Yesterday, we had an outstanding discussion during Ask the Audience session. Didn't you think so? Yeah. But I think we left it a little unfinished. And so, in that regard, I'd like to bring General Federer back to the stage for a few uh, comments about uh, where we're going on the Ask the Audience slides and the state of LOA. Ma'am? Okay, here's what I've heard over the last two days, and here's what the other senior leaders from the Air Force logistics community have heard. That your ideas and your perspectives and your passion for how we should approach adapting to our new environment are really important and critical to the decisions that we make for how we go ahead. And when I talk about the new environment that we're in, it is how do we do what we do and provide Air Force logistics, but do it more affordably and do things not just different, but do things better than we do them today? And we are going to take action on what you tell us through the Logistics Officer Association and evaluate and assess what your grassroots level ideas, perspectives, and passions can do for the Air Force. So here is what I need you to do. Every LOA member, go back to your chapters and propose five policy changes or things that we can do in policy that are going to help us achieve the objective of being able to do things more affordably. And I want every chapter to come up with five things in logistics that we should really not be doing because they don't add value or we can't afford to do them anymore. One of the important parts about this is for this to be really effective and for the senior leaders here in the audience to be able to take action on these things and really assess the, the potential of those proposals is they need to be focused on what we can do and control largely within the logistics community, largely within the areas of uh, the domain of half A4 or within uh, the, the, uh, the MAGCOMs that we will work with, but specifically within the logistics community. And you know, some of the things that we have heard through the session that we had yesterday afternoon and the prime session and even reading some of the questions that you all proposed to some of the speakers here on the stage today was the, I, I think what some of us appreciated is that, you know, when we get up here on the stage and we talk about the challenges and we talk about the, this environment, uh, we're, we're talking about it from the standpoint of a $100 billion plus Air Force budget, a, a lot of which of that is logistics. But at your level, if you're a young company grade officer or a young civilian at a unit in a squadron, we don't, I don't expect you to understand or to know all the nuances and all the things that are going on in that $100 billion budget and how you can make changes in logistics that affect that. But what I do need from you is what you know and see at your level that will make a difference that's going to help us to achieve that objective of doing things smarter and more affordably. The orientation and the, the ways that we talk up here about the, the, just the big Air Force site picture, that's for your situation awareness, and a lot of that is to put things in perspective. But you can do something. You can do something with the people that you work with or the people that work for you that will make a difference to us. And that's what we need to hear from you. If you're a company grade officer and you're a flight commander, um, what can you see within your domain that's going to make a difference? Squadron commanders, group commanders, uh, MAGCOM uh, representatives here, what do you see that we're doing? Bring that back through your chapters. Bring that up through your regional directors. 
your, your, the, the divisions that we just saw here for LOA, and the LOA board is going to bring that back to the half A4 staff, and we're going to provide some feedback. The, the charge is for you to go out, work with your chapters on some of the things that you talked about this week, some of the things that you engaged on, and some of the things that were already discussed here. Feed that back up through the regional directors and up through the lower board by Thanksgiving. The half staff will assess. We'll take a look at what are, we'll, we'll group all those ideas and initiatives and, and, and thoughts that you've got. We'll, we will um, <clears throat> look at that from the staff perspective. We'll work with the, the MAGCOMs that are affected, again, because some of the lead MAGCOMs and certainly AFMC may be part of those ideas. And in mid-February, I will have a webinar with LOA provided back to the chapters to say, here's what we're doing with those ideas. Some of them, admittedly, may not be in our domain. Some of them may be too hard to do. Some of them may cost resources. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at those, and but we will provide you feedback. We need to keep the momentum of what we have going here in the Logistics Officer Associate, Association um, to provide information, to provide information not just to me, uh, but to your major commands and to the senior leadership that's, uh, that's gathered here. Your, your ideas and your inputs really do matter. And while I know everybody here knows it's not a democracy and we're not gonna be voting on those things, this is a team. The Air Force is a team, certainly Air Force Logistics is a team, and the best solutions that we come up with are gonna be those that we develop together. And it's gonna start with what you can provide through LOA and get back up to us and help us, give us direction and guidance on what you see and know is going to make a difference. That's what I need from you. Also wanna end with something that I heard from the Chief of Staff of the Air Force recently that really sticks with me. At the Air Force Association conference that was a couple weeks ago in the Washington area, I got to sit in on, as some of you may have, the four-star panel where every MAGCOM commander and every four-star in the Air Force was all lined up on a stage, 15 of them uh, flanked by the, um, the Chief Chief, um, Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force and then the Chief of Staff, General Schwartz, was on the end. And the question to all the commanders was, naturally, when you get a group like that together, is, well, how are you going to deal with, a, let's say, a theoretical 25% cut in your budget? And it, you know, it just reminded me, when we get up on a stage like this, we really tend to focus in on the negative and, you know, what are you doing to, to meet those challenges? And all the commanders gave some, some great answers and and ideas about how they're gonna, how they're really gonna approach meeting those challenges. And then it got to the chief of staff, to our leader, General Schwartz, and he said, this is not the time to despair. This is the time for us to lead. This is the time to tap in to the wherewithal that airmen have, the, the spirit that airmen bring, the, um, the, the fiber of what really makes us airmen. And it's time for all of us to come together and say, you know what, we're not just smart, we're doers, and we're gonna figure this out. And yeah, we're gonna be handed some challenges, but we will figure it out. And we're gonna figure it out through forums like this, through your ideas, and through the commitment that I will make to you that I and my staff and my um, fellow general officers and SESs will provide feedback to you on those things that you bring to us. Thank you for everything that you've contributed. Thank you for making this, uh, this conference really different and really successful and for the momentum that we have with LOA in going ahead uh, to, to help us make our Air Force better, to make our Air Force better with the resources that we're going to get and um, make our Air Force able to deliver that logistics readiness and that maintenance and munition support that we have always done and we always will continue to do. And I also want to say uh, personally what an honor it is for me to serve with all of you and I look forward to 
um, serving together with you for many more years. Thank you.